Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can change the project frame rate in DaVinci Resolve in the easiest way possible and that too in two different scenarios so you understand and memorize the concept thoroughly. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. My name is Samian Savant. Roll the intro. Alright guys, so let's get started. Now, I'm going to explain this procedure to you guys in two different scenarios. First scenario, you took in a clip which was of 30 fps inside the media pool which changed the project frame rate to 30 fps which is this clip, okay. Now whenever you drag this inside or whatever inside, it plays at 30 fps. But you want the project frame rate to be 60 fps, right? So what you're going to do is before dragging anything inside the timeline, simply right click here and create a new timeline okay now you can name it anything but don't use the project settings go to format and as you can see the project frame rate right now is at 30 fps so go with 60 or whatever you want and click on create new timeline has been created and now whenever you drag in anything let's say this 30 fps see it plays at 60 fps even if you drag in the another clip 60 fps Okay, now this clip is originally 60, so obviously it will also play at 60 because the timeline is 60 FPS. Now, let's go to the second scenario. Okay, the second scenario is, let's say you have taken in this clip, which is of 60 FPS, edited the whole thing out. Let's say you have made a few cuts, you have added a few transitions, let's say blur dissolve. You have added a few titles inside the project. You have also named them, you have customized them and you have done whole editing process and then you realize that the project frame rate is at 30 fps but you want it 60 right so what you'll do here is that simply right click here and create a new timeline again this time it will be timeline 2 but don't use the project settings again go to format and then make it to 60 fps and create now a new timeline has been created which will be at 60 fps but it's blank right it's empty so all you have to do is go to the original timeline which is timeline 1 double click here okay and you are in timeline 1 control a which will select everything or if you want any particular part simply drag it for now i'll control a and then right click copy or control c and then go to timeline 2 double click on it and simply paste all of the stuff here and we are done the whole edited part is in the second timeline and when you play it, it will play at 60 frames per second. So we have successfully changed the frame rate in both the scenarios. Now when you go to the deliver section, as you can see here, timeline 2 will be exported at 60 frames per second, but the timeline 1 will be at 30. So go ahead with timeline 2, add it to the render queue and render it. So that was it for the video guys. Now if you find this video useful, do like the video, it really helps me with the algorithm. Share this video with your friends so that they will also not get into this mess. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I post live streams every week. I post these DaVinci Resolve tutorials every week and various other kinds of stuff like how to tech videos, tech reviews, gaming coding, vlogging and various other things. So make sure that you don't miss out on all this awesome content and hit that notification bell. And finally, don't forget to follow me on all the social media handles. The links are given in the description. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.